Awesome. Oh no. <laughs> was that above my head the whole time? <laughs> Welcome one, welcome all, and thank you so much. You could be tuning in anywhere, but you're tuning in here with us over at Seiko Sessions today, and we're grateful for it. Um, today we're joined by a musician of such epic caliber. Today we have with us Robert Keanu playing a song titled Jostle a Memory. He's accompanied by our house fiddler, Alan Cleave. Very excited to hear it, but uh, how are you doing, Robert? Doing great. So stoked to be here. It is a, a blessing to, to play some music for you and, and for y'all. Does it help you to think it's all a game played out in ones and zeros in cosmic mainframe? Does it disconcert you deeply all the same by any other name? Does it help you to think it's all some dream? Certainty is certainly not what it seems. Does it keep you up nights wondering what it means? It's cipher. Jostle a memory and look me in the eye Tell me it's all over when we die Tussle and reverie and look me in the eye Tell me it's all over
That was Jostle and Memory by Robert Giano, accompanied by Alan Cleave on the fiddle. Before we dive into talking about the song, could you tell us a little bit about, I guess, uh, the beginning of this whole wave of, you know, being a musician and an artist? How did that, when did it first come to you? Um, I was 17 or 18. Uh, it came out of being um, an, an immense lover of music. And um, it was only a matter of time before I realized that I could, I could do that. <laughs> I could make it and uh, be on the inside of it. Yeah. F- let, let the love really like uh, flourish on a new dimension. Was guitar the first instrument? Guitar was the first instrument. And was it guitar and singing kind of came at the same time, or did you have to develop your voice a bit before you felt comfortable? I I definitely had to had to work on it a bit. Um, I was very very shy as a kid and never sang. It all came at once, just kind of realizing that that I could do that, that that was a possibility, and and. Um, I loved songs. I loved uh, song craft and tunes, lyrics, um, poetry, melody. Um, so, yeah, I was very into um, Devendra Banhart at the time, and um, that just sent me on on a path of learning about folk music. Um, so, kind of from the get go. Um, acoustic guitar and singing. That song you just performed for us was titled Jostle a Memory, an incredible song and the lyrics are so beautiful and very touching and kind of, you know, jostles the heartstrings a bit. And it's just, you know, with the, the fiddle accompanying it and just kind of wailing and crying into the song. It was, it was an experience to get to listen to right here. Thank you. What was the initial inspiration, like Jostle and Memory? How did that come around? Um, let's see. So uh, it all started with the first verse. Um, my partner in crime, um, musical crime, uh, Dakota um, D.H. Scott, as he's known in certain circles, uh, it, it was around the time when when the whole notion that we might be living inside of a computer simulation um, was like kind of peaking in the news. Um, uh, Mr. Elon Musk and some other um, prominent tech um, media figures, I guess, or uh, I don't know, prophets or philosophers of transhumanism or or just futurism uh, more broadly. yeah, it was very zeitgeisty that this this suspicion that um, serious scientists, you know, like studies, like um, coming up with this just hilarious, uh, like literal matrix material. Um, and Dakota was was not having it. It was a very unsettling uh, notion. And any anyhow, so he was unsettled by that. And I guess that was the the prompt for exploring not only the notion of, of is it a game, you know, played out in ones and zeros, cosmic mainframe, all that, not just exploring the notion, but more so exploring our relationship with it. Is it helpful for us to inhabit those stories, to tell these stories that aren't very different from the stories we've always told, um, but are just the modern versions? Is it helpful for us? Is it disconcerting? Uh, that was kind of the, the specific catalyst for it. As a musician, I, I tend to find that a lot of my friends that are musicians have exceptional taste in music. Let's, let's trade some songs. Uh, what's a song or an album or a band or an artist that you've been listening to a bunch lately? Oh, that's a big... Such a big question. Yeah, I, I, I make sure to not phrase it as what's your favorite because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, a few things come to mind, but um, I'll just out with one of them. Yeah. Uh, Julian Lodge, he's, he's a, a guitarist, a jazz guitarist. Oh, okay, okay. And he 
I, at like five years old, he was playing better than like most everyone on the planet. So he, okay. he was recognized as a as a prodigy, and he's like our age now. And is there a song that comes to mind? Um, there's a record that he he's collaborated a, a couple times with uh, um, Chris Etheridge, who's a guitarist who who plays in the bluegrass and, and old time kind of string band traditions. And so they're coming from uh, two guitar traditions that people don't put together um, or associate very often. And they're like welding them, fusing them together. It's, mm. it's really amazing. Um, weird, like avant Americana. Mm. Yeah, two acoustic guitars. It sounds beautiful. Yeah, and they'll tackle some like old or new classics of of the bluegrass or old time um, repertoire and and just get into like deconstructive. Hmm. It's awesome. I'll have to check that out and I'll I'll be sure to link that record down in the description of the video so people can go check that out. For me, um, at at all times at all times the band that I listen to the most overall is always Twin Peaks um, any record I can just listen to it all day long um, but trying to expand <laughs> beyond Twin Peaks uh, a song uh, an artist it's actually a duo I've been listening to a lot lately is uh, this duo called Carol and, Carol and Tuesday and uh, they actually did a soundtrack for a show called Carol and Tuesday but it's it's such beautiful like folk singer song writing kind of just kind of a, a keyboard a guitar and two just absolutely beautiful you know vocalists awesome uh, and the specific song that's been catching my heart a lot is titled uh, whispering my love so I'll link that below as well. Yeah, I'd love to but, check it out. Yeah. Before I press on to the last question, I kind of want to open up the floor to you a little bit and maybe, you know, take the next 30 seconds to go ahead and, you know, plug yourself or let us know what, what do you have going on in your life right now? Organizing uh, collections of songs that have been wanting to be recorded for a long time. And... Um, yeah, just kind of getting ready to hit the ground running when, when the world. <laughs> <laughs> that that probably calls for a <laughs> break. <laughs> when the world does that. <laughs> Lots of gardening. Um, trying to be outside as much as possible. Uh, putting a bunch of plants into the ground and. Two beds of cabbage. <laughs> That's my favorite part of the garden so far because nice. I love making sauerkraut. Watching things grow, watching my daughter grow. I have uh, one record on, on Bandcamp, um, which if you search my name, Robert Quijano, um, should pop up there for you. Awesome. Well, I'll put a link for the record that you've got out. I'll go ahead and put that a link of that in the description so people can go ahead and find it as well. Awesome. Check it out. I don't think I'd listen to it either, so I'm going to have to go check it out. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it was a lot of fun to make. It was a lot of songs that are dear to my heart. Well, let's go ahead and dive into this last question. I feel like I'm not sure. I'm just going to have to accept that the camera is going to see me reading this one. Because... <laughs> It's, it's, it's a little more detailed in the words, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Yeah, right. Okay, so here we are, Robert, Alan, Brett, and as humans, in this existence, we can create quite literally in an infinite number of ways, and of all of the ways and all of the mediums that you could be creating... Um, the three of us are here creating uh, and recording music as we speak and and you have written these songs and you've composed these songs and you've created this so that right now this can happen. Um, so I guess the question is, 
of all the mediums that you could be creating through, why, why are you choosing to create through sound? Hmm. Um, I like that it is, uh, I like the immediacy, um, which is a funny thing to say about a, a medium to call it immediate, but, uh, it's, it's a body, it's, it's embodied. Um, I feel like, um, not that there is a hierarchy of, of media, but there seems to, uh, of course, there's a, a, a way that they, that we discovered them and there's something um, primary or fundamental about those which we can accomplish with our own bodies. Um, dance and dance and singing, I, I, I would think are the first. And, and then we learn to make other bodies to hmm. um, extend our, our music out. Um, despite our miraculous mind boggling uh, ability to capture light and sound uh, at least compared with with say painting or I like that it that it is um, here and gone I like that music happens in space that acoustic sharing sharing a room sharing or you know outside it's received so directly uh, any any other medium that we we see is also you know that light um, entering our eyes, but um, yeah, I guess it, it has a lot to do with sharing space and time with other beings, other other bodies. It's beautiful. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. And I'm sure everyone listening and watching appreciates it too. It's always nice to put such beautiful thoughts to words and it can be difficult. So thank you for your time. Thank and you. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to come out and especially during the times that we're in right now what with uh, a pandemic and everyone needing to stay home that uh, I took the chance to come and create some beautiful music so that everyone that's staying home gets to listen and enjoy and feel a little bit closer together. So thanks for having me. Yeah. It's it's uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's just necessary. I'm glad we have we have the opportunities to still make our music for each other. Well, thank you, Robert. Appreciate it. Thank you, Brett. Yeah. Thanks, y'all. Okay. Awesome. Oh, no. <laughs> I was head above my head the whole time. <laughs> Maybe it's slowly slinked down. <laughs> well, it'll be funny to watch it progress. Or is it, or at least it was slow enough. <laughs> kind of right on